everybody welcome back to my channel I am here with another plan with me in my AM b6 using a very old kit from sweet bean plans and going to pull in some functional stickers that's right so um hi <laughs> how are you let's take a look at how this last week so currently when I'm filming this it is Monday January 31st um, next week like you'll see a video that talks about where I was and stuff and the first part of the stories the first two houses we went to go look at I'm going to have this one probably talk more stories about the uh, da -da -da, what am I talking about um, more stories of our house hunting adventures. So it's going to be like weird. Like when you watch the videos, like it's going to be very, like all of a sudden I start with the middle and then I go to the end and then we jump back to the beginning and it's going to kind of be like that. So sorry. Okay. So I used this kit. Um, this was the uh, cyber Monday mystery kit from my shop. Um, and I pulled in some elements from the full box or full box the full kit and then use the mini kit along with the b6 washi and the b6 washi you get the three strips so as you can see we were on a road trip so nothing got done on saturday or sunday because we were on a road trip um i got sick thursday night and so i was just classified friday as a full sick day so nothing got done on friday however um a lot of our stuff and I totally forgot to check things off on these days but these things got done we had not great success with the 15 minute pickup so yeah anyways so I'm gonna go ahead and get started kids had normal chores to do today um, and I'm trying to see how I really want to do this so let's let's first and foremost let's start with the date covers. I think that will be be the best. And do I have another thirty one? Yes, I do. Oh, I got plenty of thirty ones. Huh? Yay! We're gonna use up those thirty ones. All right. So this last weekend we went to go look for houses, and oh, I usually use the tiny date dots from Taryn's sticker shop, but I totally forgot about that. Oops, see, I have them right here, but I forgot. Oh, see, there's another 31. Um, there's a lonely 12 that needs to be put into that book. So, I had to look at houses. The plan with me that's coming up on Monday the 7th is going to talk about the first two houses. So, I am going to talk about house number three. So, we went on a house hunting adventure, house number one, number two, not so great we get to house number three and it looks pretty decent looks pretty decent so we start looking at it the only weird the only weird thing about it is the people who owned the house wanted to stay there and they wanted to talk our ear off about it which makes me you could tell they were very very proud i'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more they were very very proud of their house they took a lot of pride in it and it was a lot of land and so they wanted to tour us the land because you know nobody knows the area and stuff like that like the owners do right the house would have worked pretty well there would have had to have been some renovations and there would have had to have been some stuff done to the land and so it kind of pushed it like out of our out of our budget so to speak okay so we're gonna have a sidebar there and then we're going to do a lot like what we did last week. Because um, I really like that kind of setup. So let's go ahead and do, do that. So we did it. We were looking at things and we were kind of on the fence about a lot of things. Like, okay, this could work. Maybe we'll, you know, put an offer in and go into negotiations and see if they'll come down in price. Right? And then my realtor, I had noticed it, but I hadn't noticed it extensively. And while the gentleman of the house was talking to my husband, um, my, the realtor and I were chit-chatting about the house. And we noticed the flooring had some pretty bad cracking that went in a very, like, line towards something. 
and I said, okay, I'm gonna be really interested to see if this crack goes out onto the foundational slab in the front and in the back. And we run out to the front and sure enough, there's one crack and I'm like, well, it's not that one. And then I see the second one and I go, here it is. It's gonna line up perfectly with the kitchen. And my realtor was like, no, I don't think it's going to. And then she stood on our tippy toes and peered in the window and she goes, oh my gosh, you were so right. It's like, yep. And so we hurried up and we went to the back of the house and sure enough, the crack went all the way back. So there's this big long crack that starts from the back side of the foundational slab and goes all the way through to the front. And I really just kind of went, oh, big old sigh. And then we had, an, and then the property would have had to have been tilled extensively to get rid of a lot of the, the divots. Um, it wasn't like, rolling hills it was a lot of like potholes in the in the stuff so there were some areas that needed to have work done and I, we were not we wouldn't we did not want to pay that price um so okay so i kind of have my base set up i'm going to add i'm going to use the full boxes as kind of like my bottom washi and then that gives me all the space to use for the actual functional aspect of, of the week. So we're gonna go ahead and lay that down. So we were definitely um, disappointed and everything. And then on the way out, it was on a busy road, um, but it wasn't like too horribly bad when we were driving through there. But then on our way, on our way out, we, um, two, 200 feet from the driveway, major accident. And our realtor had warned us, cause obviously she's from the area. She's like, this is a really busy highway, really, really busy highway. And we're like, okay, you know, like what's your definition of busy versus my definition of busy, right? And sure enough, it was busy. And it was busy to the point that it was like, we have a kid who's getting ready to learn how to drive. And I was very much like an omen of, um, yeah, I don't think this is it because we do not want a new driver having that kind of anxiety every time they pull out of the driveway. So, wah, wah. And there were, I mean, there were some other small things that were very much like, hmm, like, we could do it, but is it worth it type thing? And ultimately, after we really looked at it, we looked at the area and and stuff and seeing that foundational crack and stuff, it just was very much the writing was on the wall that it was not, it was not our house. So, yeah, we definitely, definitely uh, were a little bummed on all of that aspect. So, all right, I'm gonna take these glitter headers and I'm gonna frame these full boxes down here because I think that will be rather nice. And I'm just gonna kind of pick and choose where some of these glitter headers go. So, um, we really liked the area that we were looking in. So we, we kind of knew like what area we wanted to be in, but they were not areas that either one of us have ever lived in. Um, so it's more based upon what other people have told us, the research we've done, the videos we've watched, um, and things like that. That was like, you know, this could possibly be a really good area. And uh, we drove around for a while and the area is very, very nice. Very, very nice. And we, we enjoyed it immensely. Okay, so... I'm kind of done with story time because we now we have to get into the nitty gritties of this and I need to figure out how we're going to get into the nitty gritties of this because I actually do not have any checklists or check boxes that, yeah, like this is an old subscription, you guys, like you can tell by the, the logo, it's an old subscription. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what's gonna be the best way to do this um really kind of tired today too <laughs> it's been a long it's been a long trip okay 
So we need to do 15 minute pickup again. And that is something for sure that needs to be done. So I'm going to actually grab, come on, two, three, because both of these minty colors work very well. And then I'm going to grab this top purple color here. Come on, quit sticking to your backing paper. You know you want you know you want to be loved on this paper over here. So, uh, the kids also really enjoyed the town that we were in. I mean, we didn't have much time to like stop in and, and do things because our trip was very very short. Uh, however, however. Even though it was short, you know, we tried to maximize the most of the time by driving around the towns, getting a feel for the towns, and my husband being my husband, because he's he's my husband, um, would walk in and be like, hey, what's up? How's it going? How do you like living here? What's it like? And he has no problem chatting people up, which I am extremely grateful for, that he has no fear to do that, because I, I do. Um, so he he chatted people up and got to know things, and and stuff and their opinions on the the town and and all that jazz so it was a, it was a pretty good pretty good road trip okay so let me go ahead and pull my 15 minute pickup stickers off of here so that way we can lay them down I really want to get back into the habit of doing a 15 minute pickup at least well at least no every day because I think it's just gonna make our lives just easier and I need to start pushing that aspect a little bit more um, just so that we can do it um, and I and I, I gotta stop saying ums jeez uh, and there I go <laughs> I know what I'm doing and then I just don't listen to myself. So we, <laughs> I was about to stop this off. I'm so tired at this point. House of chaos and I am exhausted. Uh, <laughs> okay. In my week's video, I talked about like the, the habits that I'm trying to create and not like trying to do everything at once. That is a really close up hand. It looks pretty. So I'm trying to do the same with this household cleaning one to get back onto things that I loved doing before I got extremely busy. So I have to think here a little bit because this week was so weird and we have kind of a weird week coming up. Okay, I'm going to pull out my scripts, my cleaning scripts again from... Uh, River and ink just because okay. I don't need the clean litter box um, We do need the clean living room just because I think that they help kind of just really um, Help me keep on to it at least for something that needs to be done there and then I don't have to really like think too hard okay so I have I know that I've done in the past where I have the clean bathrooms and I'm just gonna like try and do it for one day but I'm actually going to split up my bathroom cleaning at least I'm going to try um, just because we have a lot going on this week a lot oh my gosh do we have a lot going on Missing out on a weekend of getting stuff done. No bueno. So we have a lot to get, a lot to get done. Okay, so a lot of this is not going to be done on Monday because, um, wow, we got a lot going on here. Because it is currently Monday when I'm doing this. So I'm going to have to be a little, okay, so this is, n some of these things are not for me they are going to be for my older boys or just in general my my um my kiddos so i need to do another script thing for them 
So my two older boys, this one is actually for them to do. They need to get it done because my son's glasses are missing. I'm a little upset about that. Okay, so Wednesday can clean house. Um, I'm not gonna have time tomorrow, so I'll put this on Wednesday because I should have more time. Um, boys should have more time to help clean the kitchen this day. Um, this needs to be done tomorrow for sure. And then I need to split up bathroom cleaning. And I'm hoping I really get it done. I know, I know I'm probably going to have to do it Thursday and Friday. Okay, so let me... No, because I'll help with the cleaning of the kitchen. Okay. This one is for my two younger ones. They... The living room is not technically the living room. The living room is actually our, um, what we classify as the blue room because it has really dark blue walls. And that is where we have our TV and our video games and all of that. So we actually call it the blue room. It's our game room where like we go for entertainment and they are actually the ones that are in charge of cleaning that stuff. So we have that. Okay. I wish I had... I mean, technically I do have check boxes because let's face it, I have something called this monthly functional sub and it's amazing and the bee's knees and I always put a strip of white check boxes in here. Okay, so I, I think what I'm going to do do is I'm just going to do one checkbox and I'm going to write the chores that they need to get done and then I just check it all off at once type thing. Does that make sense? Because this is, I don't have a whole lot going on here and I don't want to find myself in a predicament where I'm laying down all of these stickers and I don't actually have room. Although, on some days, I do have room. <laughs> That's clear. So, I might put... This is where I wish I had, like, some checklists of some sort. I don't know. I don't know what I would need in terms of this because checklists are not typically my planning style. So, okay. But I am going to put... chores because I have these stickers here and then that way we can love me some good script stickers but I am desperately needing to do some more of my own and the problem is, is I have not been having much luck with time um, so you know what let's just label them right in here and then I can just label down the chores and then you know, obviously check off the box if it all gets done. I think maybe that's what we'll do. And I think that might be the easiest way to get things done. So, I don't know what I'm going to do in any of the sidebars because this week, well, I don't really have a habit tracker. I probably need to take a page from Stephanie from Tipsy Dog Designs and use these sidebars for something with all these sticky notes, but I'm not exactly sure what I need to use them for. I'm trying to think, um, oh, I just need like a ding checklist. Okay, uh, this is what I'm going to do. Let's see if we can, Stephanie, I'm going to try and make you proud here for a minute, okay? I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, oh. I'm gonna do some things that I've never done before. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh dear, 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 dear. She likes to put her stickers like sideways and stuff like that. And she claims it's because she can't uh, um, lay stickers down straight. But I think it's more because she's just an inventive genius at this point. 
So, um, I really liked how she did this stack here with her um, post-it notes that went down. So, I'm trying to like take a, a page out of her her book and see if I can maybe. And maybe this can be like a general thing and things that need to be done because we just got back from a road trip so I know that I need to check when we need the next oil change um, and things like that. And this is obviously a household planner. A lot of stuff is not going to get done with like just the main chores and a 15 minute pickup but tomorrow, but I'm trying to think when can I grocery shop? When do I need to grocery shop? So I have everything for Tuesday to make dinner that night. Should I should I do it for Wednesday? Well, I order my groceries, so I'm almost tempted to order groceries this day to pick up on this day. But I don't want to put it down. Okay, so I need to write some things down so that I know what the heck I'm doing this week. Otherwise, this pretty stack right here is not going to um, work. So check car oil change and tires so we have to make sure that the tires are good like I said um, we need to order groceries and I don't know what else I'm gonna need to do yet yet but that I think is going to work. Okay, Stephanie, I hope you're watching this video because I absolutely freaking love this. This idea right here of taking the sticky notes and moving it, I am looking at it on camera and I freaking love you, man. Like I'm going to, next time I see you, I'm going to hug you and I'm going to kiss you on the cheeks because this was brilliant. I know that you thought about them like the million. I'm telling you, Stephanie, you are probably more creative genius in knowing what you're doing than you give yourself credit for because that is freaking fantastic. Okay. Friday. Okay, Saturday is a very, very odd day. Very, very odd day. We have competition that day. Um, and yeah, we have competition that day. Okay. So I don't know how many chores are going to get done. I am not actually going to put anything down, but I am going to do the same thing over here because I need a next week um, aspect. Okay. Do I not have any? Of course I don't. Why would, why would I have anything brilliant? That would just make too much sense. Okay. So this needs to be for next week we're going to do the exact same thing stephanie is a creative genius we're going to do the exact same thing but i don't know if i'm going to do four well we we can fit four we can fit four so let's do four okay so i'm going to do this as well and yep we can fit four it'll be just fine. There we go. Okay, this is going to be for next week. So let me write next week right here. And put to do next week. There we go. To do next week. And that's if anything I th think of that can be pushed off to the following week, we're going to do. Which means a lot of stuff is going to end up being pushed to Sunday, if possible. Okay. Bedroom clean house, 15 minute pickup. It, it, honestly, when I put down the clean house, because I actually do not clean our house in one day. I never have. I clean the house throughout the week. Um, the only time we ever like clean the entire house is when we have somebody coming over and that's when we clean everything. But we rotate through and do different chores as many as we can throughout the the day um and stuff but like this would not be a whole house cleaning this more is like a reminder to do like the extra areas of like the stairs the um central i guess what would 
be considered a living room, but I don't consider it a living room. We call it um, the center of the house, center room, um, and, and stuff. So, okay, I think I'm going to put down here to do this week. There we go. I should have put that up there, but I didn't, was not thinking because I've never done this. Okay. And then finally, we have this page. Oh my gosh, I'm stinking loving it. Okay. So I'm going to pull this out because I want to use this washi. Okay. Let's see how we got this going where we need to, you know what? If I center it on this, if I start with this this dot we should be just fine going all the way over okay so there's our little header there and then we're going to do the same thing down here at the bottom because i just want to really use this washi because it makes me this makes me extremely happy this washi does so and then of course I don't have, I don't have what I need to have because that would just be, that would just be too, you know, like brilliant. And well, I'm not that brilliant. So, okay, we're going to bring this over just a little bit, pop this bad boy up and there we go. All right, perfect for me. I don't need anything else from there. I think we're pretty good. <sighs> Let's see. Um, let's use up these teal ones. Okay, so like it's no secret that we are looking for a house. So I have some more scripts, but I need to know Not a moving day. Hmm. Okay. Um. Let's see. We're gonna call this house checklist. Okay. House checklist, and then I have things that I need to, like, we need to, um, we need to get the spreadsheet back together. So, wow, that's really crooked. That's the only problem about grid is I can't tell which way I'm laying things. Oh my goodness. Well, it's staying that way. I just ripped the sticker, you guys, and we're, we're staying that way. Okay, so I'm going to put house, spreadsheet, and this is not for my current house, like, I'm, we're looking for a house to buy. So house, spreadsheet, but I need to write these down, so I figure why not do it while you guys are here, and I'm just going to, um, I need to call the lender. This week. Okay, what else do I need to do? We need we need the spreadsheet. We also need to um, Oh, what would be the best way to say it? It's a, it's not really a consolidation, but we do need to take some time to um, look at house listings and stuff and like consolidate like exactly what we're looking for um so i think i am just gonna call it consolidate house desires i mean i know what i'm talking about but i don't know what i'm talking about apparently because i can't think of the words okay and i think i'm gonna leave that for now um Uh, I also need to call our realtor or actually just message her. I think 
think that's about about it so this is just more like the house checklist if it gets done this week that's great if not it's not that huge of a deal but it is just still kind of on my radar if that makes sense okay this was a really long time with me hope you enjoyed the stories um it's insanity right now <laughs> if you have bought a house you know what it's like um let's see inspiration for doing this tipsy dog designs stephanie um tweezers perfect prince co script stickers are from my shop these cleaning scripts are from uh river and ink um custom scripts are mine checklists or check boxes mine the kit is from sweet bean sweet bean plans uh, and the planner is from avalon and ninth myself as well so yeah we're golden all right if you enjoy this video, everything will be linked down in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the stories of my rambling self in my tired state of like, yes. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up. You make sure you comment, subscribe, share the video, all that fun jazz. Okay. Interaction is interaction. I love it when you guys do it. And yeah, until my next video, you guys. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe, and I'll see you then. Bye now.